What began as a commitment to teach and inspire has blossomed into a yeshiva where Torah, chesed, and an academic charge reign supreme. And that's only the beginning. Let me tell you a little about our school. Together, we ignite a fire in the hearts of each student and awaken endless possibilities for growth and development. We are visionaries, future engineers, and scientists. We are writers and doctors and rabbim. We are teachers and lawyers and leaders and dreamers, but most of all, we are proud students and faculty. One team. And that's more than just our mission. It's our personal commitment to you. To not only find what you love to learn, but who you want to become. We are the community that will help you get there. We are many, and yet we are one. We are more than a school, we are a family. We are the ever-dreaming, ever-creating, and ever-growing. We are TABC. While a lot of the classrooms and the hallways look very different to me, the door is the same door that was here before. I look at the chairs and there's just sort of this feeling and it brings me back to my days of walking in in the morning for Shacharit. I walked in and I felt this was a place I was comfortable. This was a place that I called home for four years. Lauder Baim teachers would always say, the journey is more important than the final destination. What I learned here and the confidence that I gained here allowed me to excel and those opportunities are just wide open for you. TABC for me was a place that set the stage for what would be future success in my career. I remember the various rabbeim that I had and how they were so excited and passionate about teaching Torah to the next generation and that is something that impacted the decisions that I made going forward in terms of my professional choices. So my greatest memories in TVC were being on the hockey team. We won three championships. When I was here, it started out as 200 students, but with the care and dedication of the Rebbe and the faculty, with the Ruach that they created, it evolved. But that same message was at the core of TABC, and that's make sure that we provide the best that we can for each and every student. Today was my first day at TBC, and when I walked through the door, I felt like I was at home. All the teachers made me feel comfortable. Over the next four years, I'm looking forward to learning more Torah and improving myself as a whole. Whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, TBC offers a variety of Judaic studies tracks. With eight different shiurim, each student can find the right level and the Rebbe that's the best fit for him. For all of Judaic studies, the seniors and juniors are together and the sophomores and freshmen are together. And it really builds a sense of camaraderie throughout the whole school. The Rebbeim at TABC are just unparalleled. I'm really excited every morning to go into the class and Rebbe Adler makes the class fun environment. I feel I learn a lot every single day. A major part of my TABC day is all the opportunities I have to learn with my Rebbeim. Whether it's in Shir, I see Gemara Shir, Nach, Mishnah, Chomish, or it's Chaburas that are given by different Rebbeim. Every day after we finish Mincha in our own classrooms, we go to the base for Tzorba Darabanan, working Bikiyas through the different Gemaras, trying to develop basic skills in the language and in reading Gemara. My senior year, I was in Masmidim, and that taught me a lot. That gave me a love for Torah, which really helped me in my year in Israel, and also now in Yeshiva University. It's given me the mindset of what I should be as a Ben Torah, how I should learn, how I should act. It's given me a path in my Torah life. It's just tremendous to see how they've grown as Ben Torah, and their confidence level, and the pride of the Nachas we get in seeing them sit down to learn with the Sefer is just incredible. The English classes prepare us really well for future years. The teachers are really phenomenal, connect with the students, and they really set us on the right path for the rest of our lives. I became an independent critical thinker in classes, such as my math and science classes, which really served as the foundation for my academic pursuits at YU, at Harvard. 
college guidance program in TBC is at the top level. Last year I took two AP classes. They really prepare you extremely well. As a junior you meet with either Dr. Katz or Dr. Prager about your college guidance experience and they really help you figure out where you want to go, how to do it, and they help you through that process. They're really there with you every step of the way to guide you and you never feel like you're alone. The fact that they had 26 graduates last year that got into the YU Honors Program speaks volumes of the effort and the caliber of the college guidance and of the students at TABC. There's nothing like sports at TABC. It is wild. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You're not only cheering for your son, you're cheering for everyone else on the team. You become part of the team. There's nothing to describe it. Winning championships and having a great time. Just the sense of camaraderie that everyone has on the team. Sometimes as a team we would just go out for dinner just on a random night. The coaches teach us not only how to play the game better, but how to be a mensch on and off the court. Now that I have the privilege to be the assistant JV coach, I'm excited to teach the players not only about basketball, but life lessons as well. And there's incredible ruach that vibrates throughout the halls of TABC. You could see it at a late night learning at a kumzitz. I love the vibe in the hallway, the camaraderie that's really fostered. There's always something going on in the building. You always feel comfortable and you always feel that you're loved and that people care about you. It feels like you're going to your second home. One of the things we loved about TBC is the fact that it's a community school, that it's literally right in our backyard. If I had to change one thing about TBC is that I as a parent would get my own ID card because there are so many times that I'm in this building, whether it be for shiurim or activities or sporting games. I'm always back here for either Little Brothers Hockey game, Friday Colwell. They have a Seder to prepare for shir, and they have shir from Rav Sabalovsky from YU. On Yom Tov, the Simchas Torah, they have Hakafas for the boys, and a Purim, a Megillah reading. Those Friday night onegs are just amazing. It really makes us happy that they're so happy, and that's really what drives us in being so passionate about the school. The camaraderie between the out-of-towners and the Teaneck and Bergenfield area kids is something special. Even though I live in East Brunswick, I'm still very much part of the TABC family. You could go to late night learning, you could go to the basketball games, and you're still very involved in the TABC community. Right away, people were inviting me to their house and inviting me to stay over when there's an after-school program. Our boys' friends come to our home and really make it their home. I chose business ethics as my elective because I'm really interested to learn a variety of different things this year. I'm on the track team and I'm going to be trying out for the Toro Bowl team this year. I was able to play on mock trial and this past year I started as a defense attorney. I was on Model UN and I got to go on the conference. In engineering, they have so many different options for us to really create anything we want to. I developed a safety device for people to use in their homes where they could attach it to their gas stove top and the device will automatically turn off the stove. It will save people's lives. Every day after school ends, there's a night seder and over 100 kids stay to learn for 40 minutes. It's an amazing atmosphere and it's a great way to end off the day. TBC was a place where Israel wasn't just another place on the map, it was part of the daily life, a part of the activities. My Rabbi, Rabbi Reichman, we talk about Israel a lot and he helps me realize how important it is. For me, joining the army was giving back something not just for me, for my friends, not just for my family, but something bigger. Last year, I went on APAC with around 15 other students, and it gave us a chance to express our opinions and voice our support for the state of Israel. The Rebbeim try to find a way to connect to the kids as best as they can and to instill and themselves the skills to be the best that they can. Knowing that there are people out there that are looking after our kids from the day they walk in here to the day they walk out is so incredibly reassuring. It really changes your whole experience having 16 or BAM here the entire day to talk to, to meet with, to learn with, to go out to lunch with and really develop a real relationship beyond the classroom.
The friendships that I made here were just so rock solid. Now, to this day, most of my closest friends I met here. To have a freshman come into a school where they know that a senior is waiting for them, hoping they'll succeed, and helping them have the best year in the world, that is something I don't think you'll find anywhere else. Ezra didn't come in as a freshman, he came in as a student. He's with sophomores in his Gemara Shear, and he's hanging out with juniors at a Shabbaton, or he's singing with seniors at a Friday night Oneg. I remember feeling anxious about entering a new building, entering a new environment, but looking back on it, it was such a positive experience. It's really that time to figure out who you are and really, once you find it, just to go with it. The greatness of the quote-unquote journey is that it's exactly what you want it to be. And I think one of the tremendous, tremendous attributes of this institution is that it gives people the avenues to explore that. It's no one journey, but it's just 500 individual journeys. Going into my senior year, it's a sad, sad thought to be thinking that just a couple months from now I'm going to be leaving this building. But I know that in reality I'll never be finished with TABC because I set my roots here and those roots will carry me through the rest of my life as I go on to yeshiva, college, get a job, and build my life on the foundation set in these very walls. <laughs>